In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do some really cool animation stuff using AI. For example, you might wanna take one of your photos, maybe a photo like this. That's just a photo of me standing down on the front here by the beach. And maybe you wanna animate it so I'm eating a burger. Whoa. Or maybe you wanna take it one step further and transform the image into something else, maybe a Muppet, and then animate it so that it's eating a burger, like this. The only limit is your imagination. For example, I wonder what I'd look like if I could do a backflip somersault kind of thing. It really is so much fun. You're gonna absolutely love this. So be sure to watch to the end because I'm gonna be sharing with you the tools that you need to do this and the kind of prompts that you need to enter to get some really good outputs. I'm also gonna show you how you can make your videos talk. For example, like this. Welcome to the wonderful Estepona. I'm just taking a walk by the beach. Or maybe something even cooler where you transform your video into something else, but still keep the voice there and it's all matched up nicely. So let me share my screen and I will show you exactly how you can do some really cool animations with AI. Let's go. So let me share my screen right now and let me show you how you can do some really cool animations using AI. Let's go. So the main tool I'm gonna to be using in this video to create those amazing animations is this one. It's called Kling AI. I'll put a link up now. The link is wpeagle.com slash Kling. It's an affiliate link. Of course, I really appreciate it if you use it. I will earn a small commission. Uh, there's no extra cost to you. There is a free version, so you can sign up and have a play without having to spend any money. And then there's a annual plan. Uh, well, there's three different annual plans. You can choose which one is best for you. And you can top up your credits as and when you need to. And different things cost different credits, which I'll show you in a moment. So with Kling, you've got a few different tools down the side here. Let's take a look. You've got the image, which is basically uh, an image generator similar to ChatGPT. I use ChatGPT because it doesn't cost any credits for my image generation, and I've always been happy with the results. So I haven't really used this. Here is the video generation, which we're going to be using in a moment, where you can turn images into videos, or you can create a video just from a text prompt. Uh, there's also a sound generation, so you can create different sounds if you need a particular sound for something but the main one today is going to be this video generation so to start we need to upload an image of course so let's click on start and do that and it's going to be this one which is of course me on the front oh there's my muppet <laughs> eating its burger and yeah we can see it over here these are obviously all the previous uh, animations and things that i've done um, but yeah, on the left-hand side, here's the image that we've just uploaded. And then we just need to enter a prompt down the bottom. So I've already done eating a burger. Let's say, I don't know. Well, I love dogs. So let's go for um, a whole load of Labradors surround me. Okay. Um, so let's enter the prompt. So I've gone for lots and lots of Labrador dogs surround the man. He's happy to see them and gives them lots of attention. Now, you can use DeepSeek to change the prompt if you like. Let's see what that does. Okay, so it's come up with a man in a black and less t-shirt and sunglasses smiles brightly as dozens of Labrador retrievers swarm around him on the beachside sidewalk. He crouches to pet their heads while wagging tails. Blah, blah, blah. This is pretty good, actually. I think we could use that. So um, I can just copy that and, oh, in fact, I can just click use prompts. There's another button here for inspiration and presets, which basically gives you some ideas in terms of how you want to command the camera. Um, well, in fact, that's pretty much all, all it's given there. So let's get it generated. So you've got a few options down here. You can add a negative prompt if there's something you don't want to happen in the video. I've never really used this yet, but maybe you don't want it to distort or uh, you don't want low quality. I don't know. So I've never used it. Let me know if you use it and what, what happens when you do. Uh, and you can decide how many outputs you get and whether you want a five second or 10 second clip. So let's go for a 10 second clip. That's gonna cost us 200 credits. Now I'm using the Kling 2.0 Master 
uh, model, which to me gives the best outputs, but there are some older models which are cheaper, but I don't think the outputs are quite as good. But have a play with them, see what you think. So let's click Generate. And it's going to add it over here. And it says it's going to take about eight minutes to generate. So, well, let's do a quick edit. Okay, so the video's done. It took about eight minutes, as it said. Uh, let's take a look. So I can just kind of hover over here and press play. And, well, there's the Labradors coming in. It's looking good. Ah, my face kind of slightly disappeared there. And cut that end bit off, I guess. But not a bad, uh, not a bad attempt for the first go. The dogs kind of do kind of all get a little bit blended into one. So maybe my prompt was a little bit too extravagant there. We could try something else. Okay, let's try something a little bit more straightforward. Uh, I've got the image already loaded in, so let's try one more prompt. A bit like the burger, let's make me drink from a colourful cocktail. That should be fairly easy for the model to do. Let's have a go. So the prompt I've gone for is, make the man take a big gulp from a large colourful cocktail. The cocktail is well presented and looks delicious. So let's click generate. Again, I've got it on 10 seconds, one output. Um, let's see what happens. Now, of course, if you're not happy with any of the outputs, you can click on the little down prompt here and you can send them some feedback. Maybe if you do that enough, you'll get some of your credits back. But to be fair, most of the outputs that I've had in the past have, um, have been fine. So well, let's see what this one's like. I'm going to generate it now. And yeah, it's going to take about seven minutes. So while we're waiting, let me show you a couple of other cool things you can do with Kling. So down here, we've got this AI sound. So we can add sound to the videos because by default, they don't have sound. So if I click on AI sound, uh, it's going to analyze the video and then it will create the prompt for me. Uh, this is using the sound tool that I showed you earlier. You can, of course, just create sounds without a video. So Labrador barks, playful wines, rustling leaves, gentle wave, cheerful human whistling, swaying palm trees, birds chirping. I don't want cheerful human whistling. Who wants that? Um, but the rest sound good. Uh, sound doesn't cost too much, only 10 credits. Let's click generate and we'll come back to that in a moment and see what that sounds like. The other things that you've got in here is up here you've got some effects. So these are like pre-built effects, like you can create an instant film, um, can become an anime figure. I mean, both of these look pretty cool. Uh, you can have a kiss, so you get two people and make them kiss. I guess that might be kind of weird. Uh, or get two people to make them fight. There's quite a few different ones and they're adding new ones all the time. I want to try this um, this anime figure, I think. Maybe the short... I think we'll go with the anime figure. Let's find my photo again. And um, yeah, let's see what we can come up with uh, on this. Let's click generate. It's only 20. It's quite cheap. Now the cool thing is, is it um, queues up all your your things your tasks in the background so it's doing that one Ooh, the sound is done let's have a listen you can hear the sea the heck is that squawk that squealing noise i don't like that i don't hear any dogs barking let me just take out the birds chirping I have to have a play with the prompts on that one but you get the idea and oh here is the uh the anime figure that's done already let's have a look hmm, interesting i mean my t-shirt's changed and my hair's changed but you know i get the idea it's not bad it's not terrible okay let's scroll down i'm sure the other job is done now let's have a look so this is the cocktail well that is a big gulp My God, I'm dribbling it at the end there. <laughs> I guess that would be a negative prompt for next time. No dribbling. My God, it's quite disgusting at the end. Okay, so um, well, let's take it to the next level. Let me transform this image into something else and then we'll animate it. Now, as I said, I like to use ChatGPT to do this. So let me just switch to ChatGPT. So here we are, I'm in ChatGPT. I'm using the app because I prefer it. So let's say transform transform this image if i can spell transform not transform transform this image into a high quality muppet style 
image. The output should be 16.9. That's the ratio, same as a video, uh, I think. So let's go and upload the file. There we go, there's my photo. And then upload, and this should only take a few moments. Okay, it's given me two responses. Uh, I find this quite annoying because often when I choose a response and say I like this one, it then gives me the one that I don't want and then I can't access the one that I did want. Let's see if that happens now. It's going to take a few more moments. Okay, so here's the outputs. I think I prefer the one with the beard. That's a, a better likeness, right? So let's click I prefer. Oh, it's actually giving me the one that I prefer. That's good. So now we've got this, we can save it. So right click, save image as, and let's call it me Muppet. And then let's uh, switch back to Kling. Okay, so I'm back in Kling. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the cocktail one again. So I'm just gonna copy this prompt and I'm gonna add a negative prompt to stop the dribbling. So let's go to video generation. Let's um, upload the Muppet. Oh, it's actually already got the prompt here. Make the Muppet, should I put Muppet Man? The cocktail's well presented and it looks delicious. Negative for, uh, no dribbling. Is that enough negative prompt? Uh, I guess so. So yeah, there we go, there's the Muppet, there's the prompt, let's, uh, let's generate. So while we're waiting for the Muppet to generate, Hopefully it's going to generate it without dribbling. Uh, let me show you one other cool feature, which is the lip sync. So you can take a video that doesn't have any talking or anything and you can make it talk. So I've got a little video here, which is just me staring at nothing. Uh, it's coming through now, I think. Just analyzing. And then if we go in here, click on text to speech, we can add something for it to say or for me to say. So what on earth could I say? Um, how about something like visit Estepona? It's in Spain and sunny. I don't know, I should have thought this through. And you've got some voices down here like uh, Anchor. Visit Estepona. It's in Spain and sunny. A little bit boring, but we can maybe make him happy. Visit Estepona. It's in Spain and sunny. Sound that more happy. What about Melody? No happy emotion with Visit it. Estepona. It's in Spain and sunny. Okay. Might be okay with a female voice. Um, let, let's go for that. It's only 10, 10 credits. Let's take a look. So that's in the queue. That's going to take seven minutes. How's our Muppet? One minute left. So let's do a quick edit. Okay, so the Muppet is done. Let's have a look. There we go. I mean, it's quite difficult for a Muppet to drink a cocktail. Is it? He's going to down it. There was no dribbling anyway. So there we go. There's the uh, the Muppet um, drinking a cocktail. So that's how you can do some really cool animations. Obviously, you've got to play with it. You've got to try different prompts. So let's just uh, let's just wait and see how the lip sync turns out. And then straight after that, I'm going to show you how you can do some other really cool lip syncing and for that actually we're going to use a slightly different tool so uh, another quick edit okay so lip sync video is done let's have a look give me back it's in visit is oh hang on visit oh it is Depona. it's in spain and sunny okay that's not very visit is Depona. it's in spain and sunny maybe i need a little bit more text when i was playing with this earlier it actually came out pretty well what did i get down here where i did this one where i um I asked for a video of Arnold Schwarzenegger talking into the camera. So it was an AI generated video, although it doesn't look anything like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but let's, um, let's forget that. And then I added some lip sync to it here and. Is such a cool way to create video. Create. Hey, I just wanted to stop by better. and say that AI is such so, a cool um, way to create video. Anyway, generally Kling is, is so much fun and you can do some really cool stuff. I've just, you know, look at all these videos I've been doing like, this one with you know when the images I generated in my previous video. Have you seen that video? You should go check that out. Um, yeah, that worked really well when I was um, animating the statues around Estepona. That worked really well. And I've been putting these on Instagram and they've been getting a lot of uh, good engagement. Like animating my, um, my son's Baby Yoda toy. 
uh, again, worked really, really well. Uh, animating the mural, uh, which is just in my square here. Again, round Estepona, that worked well, although I had to do it a few times to get the output that I wanted. Um, animating the dog statue in Estepona again. Um, these all work really well. So, you know, like everything in AI, it's just kind of sometimes the outputs are really good. Sometimes you've got to work on them. Look at that. That's my son, uh, Molly the dog, as Pixar animated. Again, that, that came out really well. Um, a photo there. This looks ultra realistic. You know, you might struggle to see if that's AI. And that's just taken from a photo. Um, another Labrador one which worked a bit better, though some of the Labradors do kind of, again, go a little bit weird in the background. Um, and yeah, a bit of dancing too. So do go check out Kling. Um, I've got one last thing I'm going to show you, which is using a different tool, and that is where you... Well, let's just cut to it and I'll show you. So the final thing I want to show you is where you take a video or a bit of your video, transform it into something else, maybe a cartoon, a Pixar, Muppet... And then you synchronize the speech with that transformation. So it's, you know, like I did in the introduction. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. I've got a clip of the bit that I'm going to uh, synchronize up. This short clip is to show you how to synchronize voice audio using AI like that. And then what I did is I took a um, starter clip. So basically the first frame just took a screenshot of that. And then I transformed that with ChatGPT into Pixar. Uh, the likeness isn't quite there, but it will do for this demonstration. And, well, let me switch to another tool. We're not going to use Kling for this. We're going to use something else, which is this. It's Viggle. You can find it at wpeagle.com slash Viggle. Uh, it's not an affiliate link yet, but it might be one day when they have an affiliate program. Or just Google Viggle and you'll find it. Got loads of interesting stuff in here, which I'll be exploring in future videos but for now we're just going to use the mix feature so you upload your character here uh, this one and then you upload the video here uh, which is this one that's uploaded now I've got the free version so it's going to have a watermark uh, original audio from video the uh, model is v3 beta which is their latest model and then we just click generate and then it should well within a minute create it for me okay so it's done it's uh it took longer than a minute it said a minute but it took about 10 minutes uh let's have a look here we go synchronize oh, let's start from the beginning this short clip is to show you how to synchronize voice audio using i like AI. that it's really good this short clip this has definitely got the lip sync going better, though it is obviously a Pixar style thing. Really like Viggle for that kind of stuff where you want to take a real bit of video, transform it with ChatGPT, and then voice sync it up. So, uh, well, that brings us to the end of this video. Let's go to the outro. That brings us to the end of this video. Did you enjoy that? It's so much fun. I'd love to know what amazing creations you've come up with using AI. Leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments that I get. I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you click that button below. Then you won't miss any future videos from me. And if you enjoyed this video, would really appreciate a like. But until next time, see you later.